Can there be a custody apart from judicial custody and police custody? Well, in fact, under the Code of Criminal Procedure, these are the only two known custodies which are imposed by the court while considering the application for police remand. However, the Supreme Court has recently held there is a third form of custody, which is house arrest, and the courts can, under Section 167 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, impose this form of a custody in appropriate cases where the nature of offence, the age, the medical condition and other conditions can be looked at and considering if it deems appropriate to the court can grant the custody of house arrest. So a person is confined to his house, his liberty is taken away but with the comfort of his house. So therefore this is a very crucial and important judgment delivered by the Supreme Court recently in the matter of Gautam Navlaka. The Supreme Court held that the arrest, the house arrest is a form of custody and the courts exercising power under section 167 can impose this sort of a custody to the accused. Now this form of custody was never considered before and even the law does not provide for a custody like house arrest and therefore it is an extremely important decision of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has given very important directions in this judgment where the Supreme Court holds that we observe that under section 167 in appropriate cases, it will be open to courts to order house arrest. As to its employment without being exhaustive, we may indicate criteria like age, health condition and the antecedents of the accused, the nature of the crime, the need for other forms of custody and the ability to enforce the terms of the house arrest. So therefore, there can be an custody like a house arrest which can be imposed by courts while passing order under section 167 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. The reason for coming out with a third form of custody, that is house arrest, is mentioned by the Supreme Court by referring to the statistical data of prisons in India for the year 2019, which is published by the National Crime Records Bureau. The Supreme Court refers to the said summary provided by the National Crime Records Bureau, wherein some interesting aspects are provided. It is mentioned that by 2019, the total number of prisons in India is 1350. The 1350 prisons in the country consist of 617 sub jails, 410 district jails, 144 central jails, 86 open jails, 41 special jails, 31 woman jails, 19 borstal schools and two other than the above jails. The highest number of jails are in Rajasthan followed by Tamil Nadu and Madhya Pradesh. The actual capacity of prisons is 4,3739 as on 31st December 2019. However, the prisoners lodged in various jails are 4,78,600. Out of the 4,78,600 prisoners, 4,58,600 odd are male prisoners and 19,900 are female prisoners. The occupancy rate is 118.5% as on 2019. This is quite huge considering that 18,86,000 inmates were admitted in various jails in the country and were bailed out. So therefore the occupancy rate is quite higher and this creates human rights and other fundamental rights issues inside the jail. Uttar Pradesh has reported the highest number of prisoners in its jail. Out of total number of prisoners as on 31st December 2019 across the country, the number of convicts, under trial inmates and detainees were reported as 1,44,125, 3,30,487 and 3,223 respectively, accounting for 30%, 69% and 6%, 0.67% respectively at the end of 2019. There were 1,543 women prisoners with 1,779 children as on 31st December 2019. The number of prisoners of foreign nationality are 5,608 in the year 2019. The total budget for the financial year 2019-20 for all prisons in the country was 6,818 crores and the actual expenditure was 5,958 crores. Now this executive summary reveals an alarming state of affairs as far as the prisons and the occupancy rate is concerned in the prisons in India. 
considering these records, the Supreme Court observes that it is advisable to have a third form of custody known as the house arrest, wherein the accused can be put in his house and confined to his house where he cannot move out of this house and therefore his liberty is restrained. But he may not have to go to jail either in the central jail, sub jail or have to stay in the police custody in the police station. So therefore based on these reasons, the Supreme Court has recently given this judgment which will have a far-reaching effect in the days to come.